hello everyone welcome back to our channel we are back again with a new video so today's video is based on top 8 libraries in python for deep learning in 2026 so deep learning continues to dominate ai in 2025 from chatbots to image generation self-driving cars and recommendation systems while python remains the king of ai programming it's the library that truly makes it powerful so Today we'll understand top 8 Python deep learning libraries with examples. So firstly let's the first one is TensorFlow. So TensorFlow is also called the industry standard library. Why is it powerful? So TensorFlow by Google is a flexible framework for building and deploying machine learning and deep learning models at any scale. So let's understand this. So firstly we'll import the library. So this imports the TensorFlow library. So here we have created the data. So here tf.matmul function performs a matrix multiplication, the foundation of neural networks and TensorFlow makes GPU computation fast and efficient. So now we'll see the output so here we can see the output of it and now we'll move on to the second one so the second one is PyTorch which is researchers favorite so why this powerful because PyTorch developed by Meta is known for its dynamic computation graphs and simplicity and it is perfect for research and experiment so for that firstly we'll import this library and as we have created for x we will similarly create for y also so here pytorch works like numpy but on steroids like gpu acceleration it's flexible and intuitive ideal for custom neural networks so let's see its output so here we can see the output of this and now we'll move on to the third one so the third one is keras which is the beginner deep learning library so why it is important? Keras is a high level API build on TensorFlow that simplifies model creation, training and evaluation. So firstly we'll import the library. And now we'll create the model. So this model creates a sequential, sequential model which is the simplest type of neural network in Keras. A sequential model means layers are stacked in order and the output is one of layer automatically becomes the input of the next. And at last we'll see the output. So this shows the output. So as you can see the output of this so the fourth one is the JAX which is high speed GPU accelerated computing. So for this you need to install this JAX library by pip install JAX. And now we'll start its example by importing the library. So here is a simple example using the JAX library. And here grad function automatically computes derivatives essential for training neural networks and JAX is extremely fast on GPUs. So let's see the output of this. So as you can see the output of this and now we'll move on to the next library. So the fifth one is Optuna which is a high parameter tuning library. For this also you need to install this library and so firstly we'll import the library and now we'll create a function so this is a simple and perfect example by the library using Optina and we'll see its output so as we can see the output of this and now we'll move on to the next library so the next one is numpy the foundation of all deep learning maths okay so for this we'll import numpy 
and now we'll create a 2 into 3 matrix. And now we'll compute mean and matrix product. So now we'll see its output. So as we can see the output, every deep learning model runs on matrix and tensors. And NumPy is the base for that. And the next one is Pandas, which is data handling for deep learning. So before training, you often process and inspect your data set. Pandas helps you handle CSV or tabular data instantly. So for that, firstly we need to import the library. And so this was the simple example for pandas which is data handling for deep learning and we'll see the output of this. So as you can see the output of this and now for the last library we have skykit-learn. So for this also firstly we need to import the library. And now we'll create a dummy data for this. So this was the feature and now we'll create the dummy data for target. And now we'll train the model for this. And now we'll predict the new value. And now we'll see the output of this. So as we can see the output of it, it's a good production. So if you like this video, do like, share, subscribe for more Python tutorials and thanks for watching today's video.